this answer is the guy that wields the dark builder returns to answer your question, young man. As the magnesite movement marches forward to 1 million subscribers, 127,000 strong. Oh, dog, you made me laugh when I saw this. So it says, hey, Tyrone, my problem is I think I'm in love with a 22-year-old girl. That's a woman right there. He says, I'm only 14 and this sucks. I can't stop thinking about her. I can't avoid her because she will be my sophomore science teacher. And I will most likely end up in her class because I need three science credits to graduate. She is also a close family friend and is related to my best friend. I need help. Ah, damn, man. You can't get away from this woman. <laughs> hey, brother, look. What you are experiencing is just growing pains. This is just the norm of life. Do you know how many guys have had crushes on their teachers? Now, I don't think I had a crush on any of my teachers because none of them was that live. But, I, you know, I did, I did notice other teachers that were kind of hot that weren't my teachers. But anyway, so this is the norm. And there's really nothing you can do about it. You need to find another object of your desire, okay? Now, some dudes out there might say, shit, you might as well tell her because you never know. But nah, I ain't going to get you into that because if you say something and she's down, she's 22 and you're 14. She's going to jail, all right? Yeah, so uh, you ain't going to want that to happen. Um, I ain't going to give you no illegal advice on this damn channel. So uh, if I were you, like I said, leave it alone, man. Find a girl your age or and someone that's in your legal age bracket to date. And to, to love and to because you're not in love with her, okay? Most likely you are not in love with her, okay? You are most likely in extreme puppy love. Extreme infatuation would be the uh, proper term. You are infatuated with this woman. You probably think she is so hot and so nice and so pretty and so sexy and cool and, and this man look. That ain't love, because you don't know her. You get what I'm saying? Uh, if you knew her, like, I mean, hey, maybe you do know her. Maybe you have extended conversations with her that are 15 to a half hour, maybe an hour long on a daily basis. But if you are not having that type of conversation with someone, you don't really know them, and you don't really love them, just so you know, okay? I understand when guys tell me, yeah, man, I'm talking to this girl, you know, she's my friend, but we talk on the phone every day. Okay, you can fall in love with a person like that. It's just a girl you see from time to time at family functions. You know, you, you, you see her in school. Hey, hey, Mrs. Hodges, how are you? You know, and you, but you really like her because you're fat. Man, there was a, a woman that worked for, uh, there was a substitute teacher that, <laughs> that worked at, at my high school, Palmyre High School. And the guys that, if any guys that are watching this went to high school with me, they don't know who I'm talking about. Her name was Miss Scott. And she was this light-skinned black woman with a big, big, big booty. And now, at this time in my life, I really, it's kind of, I'm prefacing it with this because, like, you think, oh, Tyrone, were you on it? I'm like, no, I wasn't. You know, I mean, she, she she basically reminded me of some of my aunts and family members. I mean, she was older, you know. She was, like, in her mid to late 20s, maybe 30s when I first met her. I mean, I wasn't a guy at that age that was in the older women. But, oh, my, like, all, almost every single black dude that I knew wanted to fuck her. And I mean bad. I mean, they absolutely loved me. Scott. And then her sister started working there. Her name was Lori Scott. And Lori used to, uh, I think she taught cheerleading too, but she was substitute gym teach. 
which is what Mascot did. Mascot did other ones, and I was yo, they was in love with both of them. But to me, see, I I, I matured slowly as a kid. I did so, but apparently you are not because you are in love with grown ass women. Uh, me, I only like girls my age. That was me. I don't like girls my age, you know. So um, it, it, they didn't do anything for me. I just saw them as older women. I saw them as my teachers, which you apparently do not. <laughs> Woo! So I'm sorry you're going through this, man. But you need to um, you need to find a girl. There's got to be a girl in your fucking high school that you can chase after, and not and not be so absorbed with this woman. But hey, if you need to get it out of your system, talk to her more when you see her at family functions, you know? Um, you know, if she, you know, it could crush you too, but it might bring you into reality. If you talk to her enough and she realizes you have a crush on her, she might leave you the fuck alone. Like, she she may be hard for you to talk to. And then you'll be like, oh, man, she don't know. But then you'll realize, look, she out of your damn range, man. She don't, you know. So, but you don't seem like a psycho. You're not chasing her around. You just have this infatuation. And it's bothering you because you keep thinking about her. And I get it. So, like I said, find another object of desire. And this will soon fade away. You ever seen someone who broke up with their uh, girlfriend? And they get a new girl to talk to, a new girlfriend. All of a sudden, they ain't thinking about the other one no more. Exactly. Okay? Yeah, you know, the best thing is to find yourself a new object of desire. I magnetize that is it. If you need to write me, hit the about section, send message, okay? Do not write me at my business inquiry because I don't answer them anyway, okay? Uh, make sure you go to my Facebook fan page to write me also if the send message button does not appear on your YouTube. Alrighty? One million subscribers. Woo!